Let us now take the second model from logical series where a series of three digit numbers are given to us followed by a question. Let us look at the example here. The numbers given are 851, 743, 624, 319 and 298. So as you can see there are five three digit numbers given in the question. And the question here is if the positions of the first and the third digits in each of the above numbers are interchanged then which of the following will be the third highest number. So as given in the question we need to interchange the first and the third digits in each of the above numbers and from those new numbers we need to find out which is going to be the third highest number. Now as you can see here in the number 851 the first digit is 8, second digit is 5 and the third digit is 1. So by interchanging the first and the third digit that is by interchanging 1 and 8 the new number which we obtain is 158. So as you can see here the third and the first positions have been interchanged. Likewise we need to interchange the digits in each of the remaining numbers and then find out the third highest number. So by interchanging the first and the third digit here we get the number 347. By interchanging the digits in the third number we get 426. The fourth number is 319 and by interchanging the first and the third digit it becomes 913, 913. And likewise the last number is 298 and by interchanging the first digit with the third digit we get the new number as 892. And from these new numbers that is 158, 347, 426, 913 and 892 we need to find out the third highest number. So let us now find out the third highest number here. As you can see the highest number in the given series would be 913. The second highest number is 892 and hence the third highest number here would be 426. So the third highest number is 426 which is obtained from 624. So from the given options we can say that the correct answer is option 3 624. So as you can see friends this is a self explanatory question where we simply need to understand what is given in the question and then solve it quickly. But then the solution here can be made even more simple without writing any of these new numbers. The simple logic there is once we are interchanging the first and the third digits it is clear that the third digit will become the first digit. That means whatever is the units place in the given numbers 1, 3, 4, 9 and 8 they will go to the hundreds place and we know that a number is higher or smaller based on its hundreds place as these are all three digit numbers. So very clearly out of these five units places 1, 3, 4, 9 and 8 whichever is third highest that will result in a third highest number as they are going to take hundreds places. So let us now find out which is the third highest digit out of these digits. So the first highest digit is 9. So when this number is interchanged we get 913 and that will become the first highest number. Second highest digit is 8. So 298 will be the second highest number and since the third highest digit here is 4 it is clear that 624 has to be the answer. So as you have seen without writing the new numbers and wasting our time we are able to find out which is the third highest one. So try to be a little smart and the same answer can be obtained in a few seconds. Let us now take another example from model 2 of logical series where a set of three digit numbers are given to us. As given in the example here the three digit numbers are 129, 642, 921, 476 and 308. And the question is if in each of the above numbers the digits are arranged in ascending order what will be the sum of middle digits of each of the numbers. So as given in the question here we need to first arrange all the digits in each of the numbers in ascending order. Ascending order is nothing but increasing order and then find out the sum of the middle digits in each of the numbers. So let us first arrange the digits in ascending order and then find out the sum. Let us take the first number 129. As you can see the digits of the number 129 are already in ascending order that is an increasing order. So here we need not change the order and the number remains 129 as it is. In the number 642 when the digits are arranged in ascending order the first digit will be 2 followed by 4 and 6. So as you can see 642 when arranged in ascending order becomes 246. The lowest number then the second lowest and the highest. 
Similarly, if you look at the number 921, when the digits are arranged in ascending order, 921 becomes 129. The fourth number 476 becomes 467. And the last number 308 becomes 038, once the digits are arranged in the ascending order. Now we need to find out the sum of middle digits of each of these numbers. So we need to take the sum of 2, 4, 2, 6 and 3. So 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14 and 14 plus 3 is 17. So we can say that the sum of all the middle digits of these numbers after the digits are arranged in ascending order will be 17. Let us now understand how to solve this question without writing all these steps. As we know that the digits are first to be arranged in ascending order and then we need to add up all the middle digits. Now very clearly when these digits are arranged in ascending order the middle digit will be 2. Similarly in the second number 642 when the digits are arranged in ascending order the middle digit will be 4 as the digits will take the positions 2, 4 and 6. In the third number 921, when the digits are arranged in ascending order, it becomes 129. So the middle digit is anyway going to be 2. In the fourth number 476, when the digits are arranged in ascending order, the middle digit would be 6 as the number becomes 467. And in the last number, when the digits are arranged in ascending order, the middle digit would be 3 as the number becomes 0, 3 and 8. And now, simply by adding up all these digits, we can get the required answer. So 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 6, 14, plus 3, 17. So we can say that 17 is going to be the answer. So friends, as you have seen here, the questions from logical series can be answered in a very simple way without writing all the steps. So try to be smart and get the answers from this topic quickly. That's all from Logical Series. See you in the next session. Thank you.